Hi everyone, welcome to Power BI Beginner Tutorial 2. So today what we are going to learn is, uh, so first we are going to introduce Power BI measurement and then how to use DAX functions, data analysis expression functions, distinct count, sum and divide. Then we go through how to use the Power BI or the DAX documentation. So those are the three areas that I am going to cover in this tutorial. So this is my Power BI dashboard. Now we are going to add a, a measurement, few measurements to this uh, Power BI dashboard. For that, either you can add the measurement by using this one, fields and right click and set new measurement or else we can go to the data sheet and we can add a new measurement here. So these are the three measurements I'm going to add to my Power BI dashboard today. One is count years, so that counts the unique number of years. Then total profit, sum of the profit for all the years and average profit. That means I'm um, divide the total profit value from the count years value that uh, I have previous, previously defined. So now I'm going to add my first measurement. So that, so what first me measurement is count years so as you can see in my table there are so many number of years there are unique number of years but the years are repeated as well because of that I'm using the distinct count function so as you can see if you write something it will automatically suggest two different functions so that we can easily use and if you type if you hover here so it mentioned what to and what, what what the functions what the functionality that you can get out of that function so I'm writing this is count and then I add years right so then if I enter right so my first function is being added now if I go to the dashboard I get a small placeholder here and I add the count years measurement right so number of years is 16 right now I'm going to add my second measurement that is the total profit actual total profit you can get from here as well but today since we are writing the functions I'm going to write it in a new function so for that I'm going to table tools and I'm going to add a new measurement right total profit is sum so it shows adds all the numbers in a column so for that I'm going to add profit right once I enter as you can see the new measurement is been added now if you go to the date report and I'm add this one as well in a card so as you can see the values are equal so that means our functions are correct this is actually automatically suggest by the power bi uh, functions this is the function that i have written right now the third one is get the average right for that i'm going to add a new measurement table tools new measurement average profit equals so when you type the divide function safe divide function with ability to handle the divide by zero case so we use this divide function so when you add the divide function it suggested the parameters that you want to have numerator, numerator denominator and if that is not there then we can have the alternative result as well so uh, I'm going to add uh, numerator here so that is total profit then denominator so that is count years and I don't have alternator so these are this is my function now if I enter so that 
measurement also added to my dashboard now I'm going to see it right if I drag and drop it so this is the average profit value that we have taken out of the DAX functions so no now the next step is uh, we'll go to the Power BI documentation, DAX documentation and see how we can use it. Right, so this is the Microsoft documentation about the DAX function. So if you go to this link, you can find it. So first we search something, maybe a distinct count or something like that. right so we can go to this one so it mentioned the syntax parameters and the return value and remark and some examples as well so this is the documentation actually when you are writing any DAX function if you are struggling so always I recommend to use this documentation so then you can easily uh, understand it and write the uh, function uh, especially when you are writing the special uh, or complex functions so in summary today you have learned how to use the measurements in power bi and then how to use the dax function a small dax functions distinct count sum and divide function and then how to use the documentation so thanks you for watching my video and if you like it and please share it with your friends and please comment and please subscribe to my channel for more videos.